Okay, now for slide six, we are going to be working on the budget for the cell phone, going out to eat. Then um, <clears throat> we are going to include some going out to out with friends time. We're going to include all of those in our budget on our spreadsheet. So we're going to come back over here. And for the cell phone, it says, well, first, A10, we need to type cell phone. And cell phone is going to be, it says to type $75 for a month. Okay, now watch this. Since I formatted that cell to be money, when I hit enter, it automatically makes it money. So you don't, all you have to do is type in the 75 now, in A11, it says to type in going out to eat. We all like to do sometimes. Um, now, in B11, it says multiply how many times you plan to eat out in a month by $10. For example, if you were to go eat out to eat five times in a month, you would type $50. <coughs> so, I'm going to... I'm going to allow for once a week going out to eat. So that's about four times a month. So I'm going to put 40 in there. Okay, you can do more or less if you want. In cell 813, we're putting television. Now this means cable or streaming services or <coughs> anything like that. For that, we are going to allow $100 a month. And then, now, in B14, actually, I think that's as far as... Oh, oh this was supposed to be... I got that wrong. I'm sorry. Back over here. This was supposed to be going out with friends. So let's do that. And going out with friends. Now I want you to see something here. Right now it looks like this goes over into B12, but it doesn't. Watch what happens when I start typing here in B13. Please don't come over here because you think that that's in that cell. It's not. Okay, so going out with friends. It says in B12, calculate how many times you plan to go out with friends on the weekends. Put $50 for week, each weekend you go out. <clears throat> um, I'm gonna. I'm not somebody that goes out a lot, so I'm only gonna say maybe three times. So I'm gonna put 150. And you see. That's no longer here. You can kind of see it here. It's still there, and I'm going to show you later how to make it visible, but it's not in this cell. And you can tell by this. When I click here, look what's up here in the formula, formula bar, just 150. Now, when I click on A12, you'll see the whole thing. So that's going to tell you exactly what is typed in the cell. Okay, now we need to get the television back on here. We have it at 100. Okay, so that's it for this slide, and we will pick the next video up for the next slide.